DJ Pest. Pest, holler at me. DJ Pest is on the beach, ladies and gentlemen. Got my guy Pac-Man. You know it. In the building, man. Um, you you inboxed me this morning, so I wanted to talk to you about that. But first, I just wanted to introduce y'all to my guy Pac-Man. Pac-Man has came to my uh, showcase and, and cleaned up quite a bit. I think four times now. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> a lot of people was frustrated with that last one, but hey, man, you got to give it to him. Man came there, freestyled about some gym shoes, a, a, a glass of Hennessy, and a, a, a number of other things. And I haven't seen that done in person. I've seen that on YouTube. I've seen that in other, you know, other ways, but I've never seen that personally done so well. So he had to get that bag for that one. Um, he decides when and where to come. His appearance is always highly welcome. But once again, man, this is my guy, Pac Man. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it. You know, I'll pop up. I'll pop up on a random in my Fifi, like, look, Pess, I ain't got no flyer. Yeah. I ain't text you, call you, but look, I'm finna get out. Yeah, yeah. I like that, man. I like that. Uh, I wouldn't like to promote you, you know, but. You know, somehow you come through and you 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 win that bag. You kind of call it out. I think the last time you even said you should come. Should I come win that bag? And you you came and won. Um, but let's talk about twenty eight degrees one time. That's a group that you're in. Started what is twenty eight degrees? Uh, twenty eight degrees, man. Is uh, started by YP Major Polar. Um, he's from Tacoma, Washington. I met him. I actually met him at a bar. <laughs> At a bar called the Dilly Dally. And man, I was outside freestyling, getting it in, cooking up, you feel me? And he just kept coming outside and he finally asked me, like, man, you ready to work? I'm like, bro, that's what I that's what I came here for, you feel me? Just to really just pursue this music out here. Mm -hmm. So 28 was a group he founded, 28 Sound, 28 Music, you feel me? And it was it was him and another artist, and he's a producer slash artist getting, you feel me? Dabbling in both, but but he, he he really knows how to arrange. You feel me? Produce it and put together. You feel me? Music and his beats. I just feel like they handmade for me. Like I can do no wrong on this man's beats at all. And I'm like, man, I can't I can't pass up a situation like this. And they get tired of at least this beat today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Oh, bro, I need I need work. And he he feel me gave it to me. And I was just more than down because. I've always been a fan of just grouped grouped music, you feel me? From Wu Tang to to G Unit, goddamn it, all of that. I've just always loved the camaraderie of just coming together in a group and, and doing music and just uh, putting something together. So when we linked, it was it was all love, man. And it's just it's just twenty eight. It's cold. It get real cold when we walk in the building. We just we them lit motherfuckers and just come do our you feel me? Do our thing. Mm -hmm. The project just dropped, didn't it? Yes, sir. Cold Summer, August 2nd just dropped, man. I was definitely got to check that out and just let me know how y'all feel about it. I was coming. That, that that was two years in the making, man. Two years? Dude, he got, Polar got hit by a car, man. Uh, yeah, that Polar got hit by a car, then COVID hit, and just yeah. put put everybody back. Mm -hmm. Is there any stories about that on a, on an album? Any, any music made about that, or is it just straight hit? That's the EP, no, but the album, yes. The the album, No Losses, Only Lessons, that will be dropping soon, probably before the end of this year. But the, this EP was just, uh, you feel me, put some, finally put some more music out there, you feel me, just regardless of what, just what we got. Um, we need more visuals, all of that. Just really just starting up to, to put what is 28 and what's the type of music that we're doing, just finally get it out there and just start pushing the content. All right, so as you, as a, so what's, what are you pushing? Like, are you equally pushing you as an artist in 28 Degrees? Or is it like 28 Degrees came out with the project, now it's back to focus on Pac-Man? Like, how do you how do you divide that time? I feel like it's a I feel like it's an equal, a equal push that I gotta do because one, I feel like being part of a group, you gotta be one as a whole. Being a part of anything, you gotta be come as a hundred percent of yourself. You feel me? So I I still focus on solo music and single music just to the fact to be recognized, I can hold my own outside of a group, you know? Mm -hmm. What's your specialty, though, as a, as a solo artist? Because, I mean, with you doing the freestyle, you've done battle rap, too, right? Yep. So, what what when Pac-Man is on the, the bill, what, what's to be expected? 
sporadic, high energy, uh, passion, um, just a hell of a, a, a hell of a music and a hell of a stage performance. I, I've pretty much mastered. I haven't done. I think it's ten thousand hours. I got close. I got real close to ten thousand hours as far as this street performing and. I just feel like the way I could control the crowd with my music and, and my voice is just, it's, it's different. It's different. And I'm, I'm always told it's different. I hear that it's different. I don't like being like nobody else. And that's what you to expect is, is packing Pac-Man. You, when you was, um, when you won last time, you was talking to street performances. What is that? I, 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 I was hearing you, but like for people that don't know, what is a street performance versus you performing at a nightclub? The difference between a street performance and a club performance, you come up with a set, a set show for a club performance. That's that's what you're doing. You feel me? You know what songs whether you and your team, y'all picked the tracks that you're gonna do for whatever club scene that you're showing up to. You you show up to the club scene, you get lit. The difference mm -hmm. is I was freestyling the entire time. Ah. The entire street performing is solely for me at least, was solely to impress this crowd in front of me. Yeah. Whether so, so now I have to fine tune whether okay, maybe a crowd full of white folks. You feel me? It may full a crowd full of niggas. They, you, you never even know. So during that time, I would freestyle the entire time, and I didn't have to cuss because people had the kids out there. So that was a big thing that you're free. You freestyle, and I did not have to cuss the entire time. Mm. When did you know you can do that? What, what? When was the first time you used that? That I know I could do it. Yeah. It was, um, we had just moved out there, me and my brother, Cheesy McNoop and Lawrence, and we was out on Fremont, and it was this white dude out there, Jack Frost. He had a bucket and a mic, PA system. You feel me? Hooked up, AC to DC inverter, some batteries. You feel me? He was out there getting it. I'm like, E, I want to rap. And he's like, I'm like, let me get the mic. He like, drop some money in the bucket. I said, what? What do you mean? Drop some money in the bucket. And he's like, yeah, man, you, you feel me? You took the bucket, you can rap. I'm like, all right, Batman. So I threw some cash and got to getting it. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about getting it. It was to a point for like an outer body experience. I was looking at my brother, like talking with my eyes, but still rapping. Like I couldn't stop rapping. Like, bro, do you see this? Do you hear, do you hear this, bro? And after that, the white dude was like, he took the mic. He's like, bro, you never have to pay to rap on my mic again. Matter of fact, you can come out and do this with me every night. I'm like, for real? He like, bet. Matter of fact, here's what you just earned. Handed me $250. Oh, yeah, from there, it's a signed deal. That's what I'm going to do more often. <laughs> what? I quit my job. I quit. Uh, oh, we outside. We finna go outside. This is, if this is what I want to do, if this is what you want to do, you call yourself a, a entertainer, an artist. This is what you got to be able to, this, you have to be capable of standing in front of mass amounts of people and doing you without missing a beat. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to look at the bad looks, the the uh, the disgust, and you got to be able to take in the, the praise and and humble yourself amongst that because you don't know how many times I've been asked, dude, why are you not signed? I don't know. Why are you not signed, bro? I don't know. Floyd Mayweather tipped like three hundred dollars one time. Just he just he doubled back. He came and he was dropping the money and I seen what it was. I'm like, hey, them hundreds. And he just looked up and smiled. I'm like, yo. So yo, I mean, I was but is getting signed important nowadays? I mean, yes and no. Wow. No is the fact of like you probably getting fucked if you get some lawyer to get in there, you probably getting yeah. raped. Yeah. But it's like I got signed. I got signed, yeah, bro. Yeah, to have that in your bio, to have that You feel me? <laughs> yeah. It's one thing, but I will say you would have never been able to do the things you're doing if you were signed. You wouldn't be able to drop a project with 28 degrees if you were signed you wouldn't be able to do what you're doing on the street and, and and brag about it you know what i'm saying humbly brag if you were signed it's good it's good you're not signed I, I say that respectfully you know like it's good that you're not signed because we can get the we can get the whole you instead of just getting this kind of got paid to see you and it's fabricated right. and stuff like that um and that and that really goes with with what i'm saying with you winning you got real talent i mean a lot of people think that it's rigged and, and stuff like that. Uh, for for me to do this showcase, it's me and uh, some people that I know in the crowd. We picked you four times. I think only one time you didn't get paid. And I think it might have been the first time because it was a dud-ass night. I mean, it was horrible. It was probably like, 
I want to say two, three years ago. It, it was like 2018, yeah, 19. Yeah, that was, that was bench. Yeah. That yeah, was bench. Yeah, that was at the bench bar. Um, But moving forward, it's like you keep coming and you keep doing something different, you're going to win. And that's, and that's really what it is, too. With me doing this every week, every week, people will come in there and do the same show set. I mean, they will ask me, you got the email from last time? You mean like two no. months ago? And they're like, yeah, 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 that one. And they would do it, same order and everything. And they expect me to look at it differently this time and be like, oh, okay, he won. You, you come in there, you do something fresh. And which leads to me to bring this good old transition into what we're talking about this morning. Um, you want to do a cipher. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm talking about, nigga, you, you been in them, you feel me, either mm-hmm. back of the school, the moments, nigga, you not hot, you not going to rap again, bro. Yeah. You not fired, you feel me, you getting dropped. All right, you cool, you feel me, nigga, might, you might be doing your ad libs to hop in and the nigga keep rapping over you like you're not respected. Like, And I feel like, like you said, people think this is rigged. Uh, like I know people after after the second or third time it's like oh he just no pass yeah, yeah, no yeah. no because you people you need to put in bold letters where you judge stage performance mm-hmm. crowd reaction that is that is that's key it. like that's I've been trained in the deadly arts of crowd performance and this reaction I know how to can I know how to control people when it comes to doing my music. I know how to make people tick. Mm-hmm. So how you want to do this? So 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 what we doing? In your eyes, what we doing? I mean, yeah, we, we this is an interview and, and everything, but how you say you want this done, we're going to talk about how we're going to finalize this the moment this interview ends and we're going to put it on flyer and we're going we're going to bring them out. So how you want to run it? I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe like 3 to 4 beats. If it's 3 beats, four artists, four beats, five artists. And you feel me? Line it up. Is it, pro- and, is it and, elimination and or is it just, it's a vibe? Pro- basically, you feel me? But more of a process, a process of elimination just to make sure you get a, you feel me, a, a solid winner, but to make it so it's not drug out, maybe like three beats, four artists. First beat, come on, run it. Just run it, mm-hmm. run it and cut it. And cut it when you feel it's necessary, and instead of the crowd, like have these these, you can have some judges that are known. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. You ain't got it. Next beat, keep it simple. Ain't no big. You ain't got it. Keep it. You feel me? Just I think they went harder. You, you feel me? These these three three advance. Next beat, eat, keep eating. Cut the beat when you feel. All right, you feel me? These two got it. And it come down to that last beat and niggas just eat. You feel me? Two, three minute, three minute long beats. Everybody should be able to, you feel me? Yeah. Just don't, I'm not finna write. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't write, you know? It's not a writing situation. It should be, it's a solely based on those who barred up, who really barred up and can really hop down on a beat and get it when, when and whenever. You feel me? So is there anybody that you're expecting to see at this? Anybody you calling now? Anybody? I mean, respectfully, not like some some battle rap shit. Is there anybody that's saying, I'm doing this, but I would love to see such and such at this too? In the community, not, you know, like somebody that can really put Right, up. right, 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 right. Um, let me see. As far as this thing on it, so I want to see... Of course, Park. I won't. I'll need. I, I want to see Marley Park out there. Um, I want Big Doobie. Mm. I feel like Big Doobie would get out. Okay. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, I feel like Chevy YB would come eat. You think Chevy YB would come eat that? I, I feel like I got love for Chevy YB. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I just never seen Chevy YB do a free like a freestyle. That's why I say that. I haven't either. Uh-huh. I haven't either. These are these are. I also come to your event, bro. That I'll be picking. Uh-huh. I'll be picking. Will we be back there on that on that thing? Don't don't nobody be rapping when I come outside because I'm about to come over there and see what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Like I'm about to come see what you're talking about. But Chevy YB and um. Who else on a freestyle tip? They're just stupid lyricists. Mm. If you ain't got nobody, that's cool. Yeah, you ain't. Cause I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I got to contemplate because 
not many people do freestyle these days. Yeah, I, I'm gonna send an open invitation if I can to Scrooge Boy. Oh yes, 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 definitely, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's Scrooge Boy. I can't believe I forgot him. I know he gonna come eat for sure, for sure. He just gonna put on for rap. Period. You know yeah, he gonna period. do his yeah, entire. He gonna do his entire thing. You don't care what's going on. <laughs> yeah, Akrashan. I don't know if you're familiar with this artist named Akrashan. That's another artist that I want to see. And right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop because. If I keep going, then it's going to be a whole nother thing. I want to see these two artists. So what, what's going to happen is I'm going to reach out to these two artists. Right. And then you just reach out to the people you want to reach out to. I, I'm interested in everybody you said. But let's, you know, we, we, we'll also have other people involved too. This is what I used to do, man, Friday Night Cypher. So I'm with this energy in the first place. And I want to do it because it's going to be something different. Um, I have to switch up the, the, the theme of the, the Wednesday right. show. And you want to do this in August. Yeah, and, you, and I mean, you if you rap, you don't need that kind of preparation. We ain't got to be all. You like, don't, bro. Yeah. You don't. If you and this is more or less stretched up to the people who who freestyle and know they can get it on whatever site. They, yeah, on site. On site, you mm-hmm. feel me? And you just you just can come with it. Okay, that's what I want. I just feel like it'll be entertaining. Yeah, and and that's the kind of entertainment I want to see too. You know what I'm saying? We didn't gave away the five hundred. We didn't did a thousand. Now let's let's get into this cipher because I I've told people I don't know if I told you, but I've told a lot of people that I always vision that event being you know the artist right in the center and then it's like half circle of people around, phones out. Just I need that kind of energy, and the only way to really get that kind of energy is to respectfully do a cipher theme event. So I'm all for it. Um, I got my calendar under me, but I can't see it. But let's just say the last Wednesday of this month, and we'll go from there. Okay. Um, I'll okay. make the flyer as soon as I get done rounding up all these interviews I'm doing for the station. But with that being said, man, I'm playing three songs, uh, a, a, a short curated playlist provided by Pac-Man, yours truly, Pac-Man. What is the right. first song you want me to play? You already know you need mob ties. <laughs> you right. already you already know you need mob ties. You got mob ties. I got the song uh, um, Slide. I got Slide. And then I got Moving the Dark. Moving the Dark? Yeah, those those three that are so those. Those are three. Are we talking about release? Are we talking about release? No, I'm about release? to play them on the show. <laughs> I'm about to play them on the show. Right. Not, so are you rearranging? Is that the eyes of curiosity of rearranging or are we final? That's what you want me to play. Can I send these to you? Yeah, you can send them to me. Something, right. wait, is something exclusive? I need to know. I need a disclosure. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'll have exclusive yeah, yeah, drops yeah. on all of them, but I need hey, you hey, say, hey. I need you to say the names of them though. I got um probably slide, mm-hmm. bounce, and move in the dark. Okay, all right, bet. So we about to get into those three tracks, man. This was my guy Pac Man. Pac Man, where can they find you at on social media? Man, all, all social media is Big Packy, B I G P X C C Y, um, SoundCloud, 28 Degrees, uh, iTunes, 28 Degrees, Sound, 28 Degrees, everything. We got a Google panel. You can really just Google 28 Degrees. You feel me? We're going to pop up. Shout out my boys, YP Major, and chill with the hustle. Overlit, man. Tap in, man. You Choice Radio, DJ Pest Pac Man. We stand lit. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the biggest internet radio station on the planet. Even the other radio stations are tuning in. Your choice, your music. YouTroiceRadio.com. Hey, DJ Pest, my homeboy. Man, DJ Pest on the DJ Pest. DJ Pest. Pest, holler at me. DJ Pest is on the beats, ladies and gentlemen. 